Hi guys, it's Wemi here again. That number five. I thought I would do a quick um outfit look if that's the word. I've got this wee um t-shirt from Zara, it's one of the basics from Zara, and an old um shirt from Next. I got that years ago because I love it, so I couldn't do away with it. And I've got my whole dandy flat trainers this is the only shoe i can drive in so i'm keeping it for as long as i could and that's me heading out to aldi to get a few supplies for the kitchen cupboard as the kids go back to school hello everybody it's me way me back again that mom of five so it's the sunday prior to that's a day before the kids are due to go back to school so the kids are due to go back to school tomorrow so my 16 year old is returning tomorrow as an s s5 student so she's returning while the others will phase into school towards um, the midweek and towards the end of the week so i'm just heading to hold it now to get a few um a few bits like in terms of snacks um like lunch bag stuff for them because going moving forward i don't know what the school has planned for for snacks and food in school so i'm just heading to Haldi to get juice biscuit chocolate ham and stuff like that so i think my kids don't really enjoy um, school meal anymore i mean right before the pandemic they've been complaining about not wanting to eat um, school meal anymore so I'm just going into the Aldi now to get the um, to get the cupboard filled with stuff. So I thought I would take use with me. And again, I'm struggling with um, storage. I because I record with my Samsung S10 Plus. I do notice that um, once I've been recording for about eight nine minutes, it gives me a message like, "Oh, your minimum or maximum recording stop." And I've got a 32 gig um, SD card in my phone. So maybe I just need to get a larger size SD card to go in it whenever I want to record a video and once I'm done I'll take it out. So I'm going to try that option and again your girl or your lady is trying to save to get a camera so I can get really deep into this because if I'm going to be doing more of this I'll probably need to invest in a camera and as at the moment I don't have a budget for that just yet so i think i'll keep on with recording with my phone and see maybe if i could check on argos to see if i can get a larger byte um memory card um micro sd card so i was i will see how i get on there so you guys won't be driving with me this afternoon and um, i'll probably get back in with use when i get to aldi if that's okay and i will see you guys shortly bye
Right, guys. That song I was listening to earlier on, I don't know if I'll be able to leave it in my video. It's a CD I bought. Um, it was sold in church because I attend MFM, Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry. That's his church I attend. So that CD was bought and was sung by the um, MFM choirs. Um, I'm going to probably leave it in my video. Hopefully, maybe if I um, mention where I got it from, I might not get copyright claim on it but i just love you know when i'm in i mean i just love that particular song like it's really really good so right guys i've just arrived at um i've just arrived at aldi it's somewhere in the corner there i don't know if you guys can see so i'm gonna head into the shop get what i need and i will get back in with you guys okay see you later bye guys i turn like gaja like i'm really not comfortable with this cotton face mask but um aldi actually asked people to come in with their face masks on because i remember the last time i was here i'll just take this up in the meantime i remember the last time i was here the lady almost turned me back because i told her you know i've been standing in the queue and i can't afford to go back into the car to get a face mask so i came prepared so i'm gonna grab myself a trolley and head into aldi like aldi is also one of the places that i don't really shop at because um when i first found out about aldi they were quite far from me from where i reside so now there's one very closer to the area where i live so maybe i will go i will come here more often but then let's go in and see what they've got in store today and i will um check back in with you guys later on okay bye i think it's a form of habitat from when i go getting supplies for the kids i always go with a food list because i don't want to end up buying what i don't need so got my list in the trolley there and I'll be working within this that I have with me. Trying to cross the road Nigerian style. Don't mind me. <laughs> my glove is falling off. Right, I'll check up with you guys once I finish my shop. See you slide. butter as well so I'm not sure um, I'm not quite familiar with these ones they have at Aldi but I think I'll go for the um, the Greenville ones Greenville ones I'll try those get to because the rate at which my kids eat butter these I can't explain it. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some of this. I hope they like it because these are kind of like different brands from the one we are used to. Okay, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is my glasses. Needing cold meat as well, like ham. Alright, I think I probably like this. Cook um what dates the 19th of August. When I buy stuff like this, I always go for the longer dates, like go towards the back. So that's 21st. They always have like a 19th at the front. So if you want to pick stuff, grab from the back. He asks for ham. Cook ham. So I think that should yeah. do. Because it's the only one who actually makes it's the only one who actually makes his own sandwiches. Yeah. The rest well, prefer to eat something else. So. Yeah. Yeah, and the biscuit hell. They need um, biscuit as well. So I can't really find the ones they like. So I need to get some crisp and some chocolate bars for them. 
Let's try the caramel one and the chunky chocolate biscuit bars. I'm still gonna get this. No, they've got Kit Kat, but not like seven for one fifteen. And I'm just gonna pass for that one. Um, yeah, trying to get um, cliffs just now. I don't know where they are cliffs are, maybe it's somewhere else. Or... I'm gonna pick one of the zoo flora as well. I love using this during the summer, and I can't believe it's only $1.99. Um, also, that's summer breeze. Yeah, I'll give this a try. I know with um. At Aldi, you get lots of stuff, but they are kind of like different brands that I'm not really familiar with. So that's why once when I come here, I'm not really unsure. Like I don't really want to grab stuff that I'm not really familiar with when I come shopping here. So yeah, I'm still on the chocolate aisle. Um, my kids love um, sneakers, but I really can't give them sneakers because um, a few kids in their school are um, not allergic. My kids love sneakers, but because a few of the kids in their schools are quite allergic to nuts, so I'm always considering that when I get them snacks. So I really need to get snacks that has no nuts in it. So let's see if I can find some Cadbury ones. I'm sure Cadbury does some chocolates without nuts. I need to grab mayonnaise as well like when i buy mayonnaise it only lasts about a day or two in my house because i don't know how kids like when they eat mayonnaise you know i buy it at times for my own salad but they just eat it as if it's meant for them alone now a few of these um cheese and onion um Really salted. These are brands that I'm not quite familiar with, but I know when it comes to when it comes to crisps and stuff like this, kids will hit them. So that's two fifty nine for that, and those are six. Um, those are sixty five pounds for many in a pack. Six. I might rather better off. I think I'm gonna grab the bigger pack. I swap the smaller pack for this big one because I'm sure the kids will definitely eat it. You know, kids don't know which is not work, so they will definitely enjoy this. And this is value for money. That's thirty in a pack for two fifty nine. All right, let's try one of these uh, microwave popcorns. I'm sure my oldest will like this. She likes doing stuff that sets us different from the others in the house. Like when the others are having stuff, she won't come out just because she doesn't want to make theirs. Well, she will actually love that um, she will definitely love that so I'm on the juice aisle trying to get juice for the kids there you go grab all this orange one I think that's all the flavor they've got like I'll grab another one as well these are actually bagging like value for money as compared to the um, there's this other brand that I normally get for Caprison. Caprison is quite expensive nowadays, so these are like 169 for that, which is not bad. I'm still on the hunt for screen wash, as I can't seem to find any screen wash anywhere. So, what's this? Grab some baby wipes as well, as my kids will just use this anyhow. I'm gonna grab some chewy cereal bars as well because with kids you can't really tell what they would like that's why chuck chip one I'm at the pizza aisle I'm gonna try and get some pizza because my car is actually starting to get filled I'm gonna get some of this pizza and then some chips for them and I think I'll get back in touch with you guys when I get home because my battery is sitting at 20% just now. So, um, 
I don't want my phone to die on me. So, yeah. I mean, this is actually quite pricey here because um, food sells this for a pound and they has a 25 pence one, so I won't be buying these ones. So I just tried the dip one, so I'll grab a couple of the pizzas and I'll catch up with you guys later on. I'm gonna get some french fries of them for a change. Seems to be an offer, so grab. Two of these. I should do them. Grab a couple of these coned ice cream as well. Because one of them was asking me yesterday to buy them some. So yeah, I think that's everything I need from here. And I'm gonna head to check out. I'm gonna grab one of these as well. I'm gonna head back to the juice aisle to pick up a few more juice and then I will head to the checkout. After the checkout, I will head back home and once I get back home, I will check in with you guys to let you know how my shopping experience went in terms of customer service, in terms of ease of finding product in store. Because like I said, with me, customer service is very important for me when I go shopping. So far, I've been able to get almost everything I need and hopefully it will remain the same so I'm gonna grab another pack of juice now and then I'll catch up with you guys once I get home because my battery is actually at 15% just now so I don't want to I don't like my phone dying on me so I'll catch up with you guys when right, I finish guys that's me back home I'm just gonna take this don't know this pack of assist I'm just gonna take the shopping back upstairs and then we will talk about um, customer service at Audi. The only thing, well, maybe we should just do that. The only thing we made was that, yeah, products were able, I mean, I was able to find most of the stuff that I needed there. Um, when I walked into the store, I asked one of the customer service if I'm allowed to film, and it was like, it doesn't bother anybody that it's fine by them, which was good for me. The, when I so I went got my shopping and I checked out and when I got to check out the only thing that stood out for me was that yeah the guy was quite attentive it was friendly a bit chatty but I did find that um, he, there was another customer um, till behind him it was chatting at the same time with the guy at the back of him which I felt was rude like if you're attending to a customer you should like you know be focused on the customer you're attending to you can always chat later on with your colleague at any time but that time when you're serving a customer it should be you should be customer focused rather than you know a, you chat away for like a few seconds and then the rest of the time you was just scanning my items away and chatting to the other colleague who was also serving on the checkout behind the back apart from that yeah all this quite good but then i don't think it's going to be a place i will be shopping more often because most of the brands they have there i'm not quite familiar with them so yeah other than that they pretty much have almost everything but because i'm not quite familiar with most of the brands they do sell there so i might not be returning there but who knows never say never i might go back and yes yay i found screen wash and five liter of screen wash was one pound 99 i should probably have gotten two bottles but you know what i was just like happy to find um a screen wash so that's car filled up with screen wash there and i'm a happy girl happy happy girl it's really really hot in glasgow today again it's 23 degrees and yes i was dressed for the weather like i was dressed i had my bermuda shirt on and this wee basic um top from zara with my sunshade and with lots of sunscreen like guys splash your sunscreens on don't say because you are dusking you don't nothing's gonna happen to you no 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 dab splash soak yourself in your sunscreen so that's my aldi all and i will see i don't know if i'm gonna be doing like me putting the stuff away but i'll see how i get home because my kitchen is quite small and by the time the kids all start putting stuff away they'll start like stepping on each other and then before you know it, they'll start arguing again so i might just maybe just put this stuff away myself or maybe show you when i get upstairs i'll decide later so right have a lovely sunday afternoon wherever you are in the world or wherever you may be in the world have a lovely weekend and we will catch up later
bye